This is Ari, Gwendolyn and Brynifa. They are in a polyamorous relationship and they all parent Hazel and Sparrow. We have a two-year-old antigender baby and a 10-year-old who is non-binary. They have chosen not to disclose Sparrow's gender. We don't know it yet. It's something that Sparrow's gonna have to figure out and then tell us. But their parenting approach is controversial. I have literally received death threats. Crazy, crazy lady. I hope karma hits you back and your kids grow up to detest you. These polyamorous parents let their children choose their gender. And for their oldest child, Hazel, that's neither male nor female. Please tell us how and why you decided to come out as non-binary. Because the pronouns she and he did not fit, non-binary was what I turned to. Though I do choose to act and look um, more feminine. Can I go down now? Of course. <laughs> and two and a half year old Sparrow has yet to make a choice about their gender. Sparrow, do you want a banana? Yeah. They're antigender, but we're using they, them pronouns. Sure, they have anatomy, we understand it, but like that's not indicative of their identity. It's something that Sparrow's gonna have to figure out and then tell us before we can tell anyone else. Particularly because it's, you know, something that our parents did and they got it wrong. But giving Sparrow the choice has proved controversial. Online, there's a lot of angry people. I have literally received death threats. The worst is people who threaten my children. Yeah. But I'm the person who's disturbed. What you are doing is absolutely horrifying. I feel for your kids. They should never be put through something like that. What you're thinking is so effed up. It's actually scary. Crazy, crazy lady. I hope karma hits you back and your kids grow up to detest you. A lot of people, they, they say, how will your children know what a boy or a girl are if you don't teach them? Yeah. Or how will they know how to act? There's a lot of assumption that we're raising them without a gender and we're not giving them any information as to what gender is when that's just not the case. <laughs> it's funny because one of the main complaints that people say is children are too young to know their gender. That's why they have to be told what their gender is. And we're like, well, I think we agree on the source information. We agree children don't know yet. But how we respond to that, that fact is very, very different. Well, the other one anyway, guys. The parents educate their children differently from regular public schools. Hazel schools themselves. <laughs> Hazel is very led in what they do. I basically just try to keep up with them. So typically, how many hours of study a day do the kids do? Honestly, probably not more than one or two where we're at a table doing what looks like typical academics. The rest of the time, it's a lot more natural, fun learning. We don't force them to homeschool. Uh, we did it because at the time that's what they wanted and we're always gonna be following their lead on that. Before COVID-19 uh, lockdown, Hazel and I had started talking about them integrating back into public school. And once lockdown uh, is over, if that's what they wanna continue to do, then we will 100% support them. They may be different, but the family's biggest challenges are the ones that all parents face. Now don't jump while you're drinking, you'll knock your teeth out. I would say the biggest challenges that we face are the challenges that any family faces that really often have nothing to do with gender. Just regular raising toddler kind of problems. I think a lot of parents worry about ingraining that kind of gender performance very early and, and for us it's just it's a topic that just doesn't come up. Gender is a personal identity. Basically almost everyone on this planet are assigned a gender when we're young. And for most people, that identity assignment works well enough and they find how to make it their own. For those of us who are transgender, that assignment, it was too radically different from what we felt we needed to express ourselves. And that definitely has influenced my views and opinions about gender. Uh, at the end of the day, what I think it is, is something that people get to decide on what it means to them, what it is, and how they express it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>